Hello. Hi. Hi. Been a while, huh? What are you doing? Who's this? Oh, it's your boyfriend. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> I was just calling oh to check on you. Uh, Where have you I've been? been? I've been out of the I've I've been out of the country. I've I've been with the uh oh, what is, what is it? I've been with the, the the people that I don't know, fuck. I'm fucking stupid. But yeah, I've been out uh, of the yeah, country. Yeah, you sound pretty stupid right now. And yeah. Well, I'm having a drinky drink, you know, in your honor. I saw you finally got out of that pyramid scheme program and and all that stuff and, and I wanted the... to congratulate you. Fuck. What do you mean, what the fuck? Did you stop smoking, too? I know that was another thing you were going to try to stop doing. I know. What um, are you giggling about? We spent a lot of good times together. It's probably been years. <laughs> it, it has been years. It has. I, I, was, I, was, I was on a peace... Yeah, I was with the Peace Corps. That's what I was trying to say. I was bringing, oh. I was bringing health and wellness to everyone. That's what I was doing. You don't believe oh me, do you? Damn it. God. Why do yeah, you absolutely. Me? I totally believe you. You seem like the kind of person that would totally join the Peace Corps and um, and all that jazz. Are you drinking again? Are you drinking and smoking? You can't, no. You can't, you can't do that to your womb if we're going to have a baby. you got to have it unpolluted. I'm too old. No, you're you're never too old. I have super sperm. No, no. I I grew these sperm in a laboratory, the same laboratory that that all the oyster pearls were all were all groomed in. Uh huh. What's the matter with you? Why you sound Why you sound you're so You're weirding me out, bro. Did, did you lose the house? What's the matter? What house? Are you Are you out Are you out in the garage right now, smoking again? What's going on? What house? You know what house. Where's my house? I, I, I don't want to do that because then you're going to accuse me of being a stalker. We all know I'm not a stalker. Do we? And I don't, and I don't stalk anyway. I just excessively shadow. There's a difference. Oh. So why How are the dogs? How, dogs, how are the, how are the Oh, wow. wow. Yeah, big old Rottweilers. How are they? You're freaking me out, bro. Why am I freaking you out, honey? Honey baby? Honey baby. Mm-hmm. Yeah, honey baby What's child. What's my name? Huh? What do you mean, Laura? What do you mean? What's your name? Say my name. Say my name. I know. It makes me hard. Hmm. So what are you doing tonight? Why are you still up? So you don't know my name. Party? You're calling me and you don't know my name. <laughs> It's Shannon. I'm fucking with you. You know, you hang out over there and, and, and you hang out over in Baldwin. I don't understand how you know all this. You need to give me more details. Because, because we're in a relationship. So I, well, don't, I don't understand why you If we were in a relationship, then then I, like, I would have talked to you in the last two years. Right? I was out of the country. I was in the, I was in the Peace Corps. Right. I was bringing I was bringing medicine to the poor. I was trying to help cure this goddamn coronavirus. I was out there and mm. I was bringing like India. I just got back from India. Very bad situation we got over there. Hmm. Tell me about yeah, it. You know. Tell you about India. Oh, it's really bad over there. They don't have good plumbing. They don't have any plumbing. They poop in the streets and they don't have fresh water. The plumbing is horaceous. And then, like, we have such a such a problem with all these scammers over there. They're trying to scam the vials of the of the uh, medications of the of the virus medications, and they're also uh, trying to get that hydrochloroquine and stuff too. And they're trying to give it to people, and it's no good. I see. Yeah. So now you're back. I'm yeah. glad you're starting to see now. I'm back. I'm back. I just got back on on Tuesday. I felt it was safe to come back in the country after President Biden was sworn into office. I, I thought it was safe to come back. Oh, see, I, I like President Trump. Yeah, Maybe well, we're going to change that perception. 
Well, we're, yeah, we're going to develop a heart for you. We're going to get you uh, checked out, maybe an MRI, and get your brain scanned. But you'll recover. It'll be okay. I'll pay for the best doctors. I see. And where are they located? Sh- Shannon, where, what do you mean where are they located? I mean, there, there's the a lot of good doctors? ones over in, in St. Louis. Well, there's some. Well, there's a lot of good ones over in St. Louis. Yeah. Yeah, we can go to St. Louis. Um, we can go to Shriners, but that's for children. But, you know, they might believe that you are you have a brain of a child. We could do that. That could happen. We could go to the Mayo Clinic. You want to go to the Mayo Clinic? We could do that. See, now you're just pissing me off. Where are you at? Why am I pissing you off? Why? What's the matter? You're being rude. And why? I'm not being rude at all. And I want to know, honey, like, if you're trying to make money seriously with us, you know, why haven't you went live in about four days? I haven't been online in four days? No, went live. Went live in four days. I haven't went live in four days. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Why? Uh, you're not gonna. I... You're not going to make money sitting on your duff. I mean, your looks are only going to take you so far. And, and, and really, I, I want, I'm going to be 100% honest with you, you're not pretty enough to have an attitude like this. We've got to get the viewership numbers up. That's the only way that we're going to be able to push out all this junk. That's the only way you're going to be able to recoup the money. How are you going to help me? Uh well first off I'm going to I'm going to start taking over what you're wearing uh for the lives because that's part of the problem. What am I wearing on the live? What the last one you are you first off you're wearing stuff that's way too high. You're not showing enough cleavage. You're not using your sex appeal to sell. So the last the last live I watched uh was like I said 4 days ago. Four and days ago. That you was had the last this like was yeah. was 4 days ago. You you had this you had this pink well I don't know pink like it looks like a distressed number it's got these white stripes and stuff through it and like that's that's not going to get it first off the shirt's too long it's covering your ass so when you turn around and you go to get product your ass is still it's not being exposed and it's too high and so your cleavage your cleavage is not being exposed like we need at least at least two and a half to three inch more of cleavage and then you can use your sex to sell. And you um, to get the guys in, what you tell the, the guys, you say, hey, with with each one that I sell you, I'm going to kiss your envelope personally. And you, you line your lips up with some slutty type ma- um, lipstick, and then you kiss the envelope. And that's how you get that going. So, yeah, so I, I had a marketing, I, I had a marketing degree, and I had a marketing degree in college before I went to the Peace Corps. And if that if that doesn't help, um, getting getting drunk, getting drunk and stuff on live, uh, that helps too because then people think you know how to have a good time. They're like, oh, she's not so stuck up. Like, there's not a whole tree branch up for buttocks. Right. So the yeah. shots of Jim Beam. You're saying the shots of Jim Beam aren't doing it. No, no, no. What you need to do is you got to you got to be kind of shocking. Like just taking shots of Jim Beam is going to do it. So what you need to do is you need to oh, well, like wait, almost wait, like a hospital. Wait, wait, wait. You missed my last life cuz I was doing shots. Yeah, but what you need to do, you need to be more shocking. You need to you know, like take the bottle and you put it upside down from one of those IV stands and you run a direct a direct line intravenously to your your vein. And you just let it drip in there slowly, so so you don't have to stop selling to take shots. That's the problem: is you're stopping, you're stopping to take a shot. And that's money that can be made, and you got to stop doing that. You got to go over there, and you just let it drip, drip, drip right into your veins, and you just keep selling like a machine. So, what else do you want to know, honey? I mean, I, I, I'm probably the best man that you've ever had. The best boyfriend. I mean, I call, I call once every two to three years. Oh, and no, you called me. You called me every fucking week, maybe two, three, four times a week for about a year. And no, that's, bu- that's bullshit. Maybe once, 
No, really. Then you called like maybe once, <laughs> once a month or so, and then my husband. No, you see, the phone. you see, you're giving me too and much credit. You're saying I'm gonna. Phone, and then you, and then you didn't call back. So I got, I, I don't know. I thought you just died or something. You're, you're saying, you're saying I'm an attentive boyfriend, and that's, that's bullshit. I'm at best an absentee boyfriend. I don't, I don't pay that much attention to you. And it's mostly because you wear flip flops. You wear those stupid flip flops with the the turquoise bands. It's bad for you. It's bad for your feet. Hello, please. Hello, please. Yeah, well, I wanted to say please. I didn't want to say get back on the phone, bitch, because then you'd accuse me of being abusive. Gotcha. So, so why don't, why don't you do, do you sing my praises now and tell me how I'm such a good boyfriend and that well, I'm going to help your sales. Your how am I supposed to sing praises to someone whose name I don't even fucking know? I mean, you don't know what shoes I have on. But right but now, no, of course, of course not. I don't know what what type of shoes you have on right now. I didn't buy them for you. Pretty soon, I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have a uniform for you, and it's gonna be commanded. This is what you wear when you're on the live, and uh, when you're about the house. When you go out, you'll then have to FaceTime me, and you'll have to show me what you have on, and I'll have to approve it. Deal. Sound like a deal? So does that mean I get your phone number too? You got my phone number. What do you mean? How am I gonna How am I gonna run it all by you? This, this I, just, I just called. Like, I just, like this is the first, no, this is, this is the first time I've called unblocked because I trust you now. So that's your real fucking number. You're saying if I if you hang up yeah, right now no, and call you back, number. I'm going to get you. 100%. All right, let's try it. All right, try it, shit. I don't give a fuck. I mean, come on now. I thought right, me like, and you had a connection. Are you real or are you fucking lying? Is that your fucking No, number? I'm being fucking real. I'm being, one, I'm being 100 with you. So if I hang up right now, I'm going to call you right back. Yeah. Five seconds. Five five seconds? You don't call me back. I'm calling you back, just so you know. Are you going to answer? I'm going to answer the phone. Quit calling me. What? You stole a dog. Who is this? That's like stealing somebody's child. Are you getting calls from a random man, too? Why are you calling me? That's a bot. That's a rubble hit. Why do you only speak when I speak? Um. Hello? <laughs> Yeah, that was funny. That wasn't your number. Yeah, it was, but it was my mom. She's drunk. Oh, I that's told her funny. not to pick it up, and then she then she picks it up, and she won't give me the damn phone. She's sitting there crackling like a goddamn banshee. Right. Okay. Yeah, she she keeps wondering about this dog. Seriously, this dog that she had when she was like I don't know in middle school that hasn't been around in years. She's still accusing people. Of stealing her dog, but this okay. this so dog has been dead, dead and dog? gone. Well, I don't care about. What your about mom, your dog? What about my fucking dog? What are you saying about my fucking dog? Oh, they're fucking awesome. They're cute, man. Did you get them like studded uh, necklaces or collars, collar necklaces, machines? And what kind of dogs do I have? Oh, those are Rottweilers. You can't mistake those. Those are rots. Hmm. So you're a fan of Rottweilers. They go, huh? yeah, Rottweilers. I love when they, you know, they're 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 good protectors, but sometimes they get a little crazy so you, you because they're they're ever, brain presses up against their skull. My, you realize if you ever come to my house, my dogs will rip your fucking balls off, right? I'm more scared of you running me over in that green ass jeep you got. Hmm. That, I'm not afraid of the dog. I'm, I'm afraid of the jeep. Of I'm afraid of the four by four. Nah, I'm more scared of the 4x4 four four running over me. So what happened hmm. with your husband? Why did he quit? Why did he quit you? 
Why did he quit me? What makes you think yeah. he... What makes you think he quit me? I know. I, I, I mean, I know things. I had people informing me while I was in the Peace Corps. Oh, okay. Well, then, I don't know, bro. For the first time, you're wrong. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. Why do you... Why, why, no, they said he quit you. He said you guys were done for, like, three months. And... Like everything was all shaky and stuff. He was mad. He was mad about your business, costing him a bunch of money. Hmm. I mean, I'm just, I'm just one. Like, are you taking like, like, no, Shannon, I'm not. Come on, like, are you taking a smoke break like right now? Because every time I used to call you, you used to take a smoke break. You go out in the garage. You kind of you kind of smoke like a little slutty, which kind of turned me on. Or did you quit him? Did you quit him? Why would I do that? I don't know, but listen, you can be honest with me. Did you sleep with any other men besides your husband and me the time I was gone? And you? When did I sleep with you? You were drunk. You don't remember. But oh. I, I mean, I swear to God, if you, if, you, if you don't want to admit to it, I'll take you on Maury. I'll take you on the Steve Wilco show. I don't even care. I'll, yeah, I'll losing, get a losing, lie detector. You're losing, you're losing me right now. Very I'm boring. losing you. No, no, my, no, no, no. My, my cell phone connection is very strong. No, you're very I have boring. T-Mobile. I have T-Mobile. Hmm. But I'm not. Bo- I'm not boring. First of all, if you're drinking right now, I'm the most entertaining thing in your life. Your husband's sleeping with the dogs right now. So tell me, when are we going to get together and go play putt putt golf? How did you get my number? I still want to know. So you're my boyfriend. It's been four fucking years. You can I know we've been together I, so we've been together least, we've been together so long. You can at least tell me how you got my number, right? I don't even remember how I got your number to tell you the truth, but I'm glad I did. I think it was at the waitress at IHOP gave it to me. Because you were in there eating and I was like, Hey, I was like, Do you know her? And she's like, Yeah, that's Shannon and I'm like, Oh my god. I was like, I think I think I just met the love of my life. Right. Well, so I mean, you wanted my, to know. I mean, what do what you what do you think? What do you think it was going to be? Some fucking magical story? We both know you didn't get mugged. I'm not a fucking superhero, so we know that that didn't happen. We didn't meet jogging in the park where one of us fell and the other one came to help. Like that's how it happened. Like I I, I didn't meet you on Tinder. I didn't meet you on Plenty of Fish. I didn't meet you on Grinder. You're boring me again. So I'm not boring nothing. If, I'm I'm spitting hard truths. If you're watching my lives, why aren't you commenting on them? Why are you hiding behind I'm, I'm not a watching fake profile them. and some fake I just told I just told I just fake fucking see, name. Why would I say what? Fucking... No, no, no. You seem to know see, I didn't get back like I told me. you. Yeah, I told you I didn't get back into town till Tuesday and that's the last time that you were you were on. Yeah, fucking Peace Corps. Yeah, I've been yeah, I've been in India. Corps. I've been in, in I've been in India in the Peace mm-hmm. Corps. The fucking Peace Corps. I say I'm saving lives. I'm saving the two percent of people's lives who die from COVID. Actually, it's it's more you're, point, like you're point nine zero percent. You're, but... you're not telling me things about myself. You're boring the fuck out of me right now. Also, you're self-centered. I got to tell you things about yourself before you'll oh, be you entertained. Know me, right? I'm self-centered, obviously. I didn't say you were self-centered. I said you're getting there, but we'll work on it. We'll work on it together. We'll hold hands. We'll we'll go and we'll get pancakes because you need more carbs because you're you're looking a little sickly. Oh wow! And you're looking like <laughs> yeah, you're you're looking like the the skeletons oh, that I've seen many of skeletons in India. Yeah, they got nice teeth, but they got real frail bodies. Carbs, carbs is where it's at. You got to carb up. You got to carb load. Yeah. You haven't you haven't been trying that keto shit, have you? That's some dangerous stuff. I gotta go. You're you're boring me. You're literally what? just rambling. I can't do it. No, hang, hang hang on. Just put the phone up to your ear. Here, sit down. Prop up your feet. Hang on. I'll rub your feet for you, and we'll have a conversation. Do you have any lotion? Hello. Oh, hello. 
Uh, my name is Dwight, and I'm a criminal. Nice to meet you. I'm here to engage in civil disobedience and discussion. Tell me more about that. Why are you calling here? Because I love you. Yes. That whole thing. <laughs>